Crypto whales are buying this particular altcoin. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're going to dive into this particular layer one, relatively new to the market, and why it's so popular right now. And we're going to dive into uh, some of the data and some of the insight that we have as to why the whales are accumulating this particular coin right now. And they're making it a priority right now amongst, obviously, everything else like stable coins, USDT and Tether, uh, USDT and, and USDC rather, Ethereum, Bitcoin. These are all household you know, cryptos that crypto whales accumulate. But this is a new one to the bunch. And it is ARB, Arbitrum. So if you guys are not familiar with what's happening with Arbitrum, they recently came to market and absolutely have been crushing it. And right out of the gates, they're a top 50 crypto, currently ranked number 37 market cap, still relatively low at $1.5 billion, but that's good to make them rank number 37 on the big board. But despite its rather rocky introduction to the crypto world in March, whales still seem to be accumulating Arbitrum. The analysis platform Look On Chain shows uh, a Twitter post here this morning revealing that a whale or institution received a total of nearly 12 million ARB worth 14.82 million from Binance and Gate.io in the past 24 hours. The address that received this huge amount of ARB is a new address and seems to only hold Arbitrum right now. Now, in addition to this, Look On Chain revealed that another whale known as Andrew Kang bought more than 700,000 Arbitrum with 1 million USDC at the price of $1.26 after tweeting about this specific crypto. It's basically where it's trading right now, a little bit less than that, actually, at $1.23. Things are certainly looking up for ARB at the moment, so much so that the altcoin has earned itself a spot on CoinMarketCap's trending list after a successful last 24 hours. It's currently trading hands at $1.26. Nice little 7% price increase over the last day. But the altcoin reached a high of $1.28 over the same time period. Over the longer term, ARB still has some room for improvement, and you could see... It's 24-hour trading volume, still relatively low for a top crypto, but it has gained some steam. And, you know, it, it's interesting because a lot of tokens now launching on Arbitrum. So maybe that's why people are accumulating. They want to get in on these new launches. Uh, so you're seeing a lot of that happen right now. Let me stop sharing here. We can take you inside uh, CoinMarketCap a little bit and uh, go through some of the numbers here. You can see. Okay, so we got a volume number down about 9%, 762 million, still relatively high. When we go to the alt chart, though, you can kind of see what happened here. Very interesting. It kind of came out to market, uh, and it the open price was huge because it was airdropped to everybody, and then everybody kind of sold off, and now it's been kind of trending sideways, and we'll see if it starts to pick up steam again. Again, a lot of things being launched on Arbitrum as well, a lot of new tokens, so I think that has people very much interested in gaining, uh, you know, having some Arbitrum in the wallet is probably a good move if you want to get in on some of these launches, obviously. And um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to kind of see how this uh, plays out. And what they're really trying to do here, Arbitrum, is create a secure scaling method for Ethereum. And Arbitrum's suite of scaling solutions, uh, providing faster speeds at lower costs with the same level of, of security as Ethereum, if it works, could be huge, right? Because Ethereum has grown so big and so vast that it has to give up something. It's hard to have the lower cost, fast speeds, and security. Usually you have to give up something to get one of these. But Arbitrum could be a better version of that in the, you know, way down the line. We'll see, right? It still has a long, long time to go. And I don't think anything, anything or anybody's passing Ethereum anytime soon. But crypto whales are accumulating Arbitrum. That should tell you something. We always like to follow what they're doing definitely can make us better informed as investors. Appreciate you guys as always for stopping back here. Let me know what you think about it down below. Are you holding ARB? What do you think about it? Have you been in any new Arbitrum launches? I know I've been in a few, not too, too many yet, but I'm always looking for new opportunities and there are a lot coming on Arbitrum. So definitely highly encourage you guys to check that out too, if you're looking to get into some new launches. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.